Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us uh, and kicking off National Gear Up Week today with Jonathan Medina. Uh, we're super excited about the events that we have planned for the, re for the week. I'm sorry. I'm getting a, a feedback here real quick. Thank you. Um, so our first event is, uh, of course, our kickoff with Jonathan Medina. Uh, we will be having a parent session at 5.30. So students, if you can remind your parents, uh, there is a session just for parents at 5.30. Tomorrow we have our dream board activity. So use your creativity, create a dream board uh, that showcases what your goals are for college, your career, just your dreams. Um, send it to your Gear Up facilitator via email. Um, if you don't have our email address, you can look at our Gear Up Facebook page and contact us through Gear, uh, the, our Gear Up Facebook page. On Thursday, we will have our curbside pickup. You don't wanna miss out on that. Uh, we have a lot of goodies for y'all in a bag. Uh, there's also a book that the English department is uh, asking y'all to pick up. So 5.30 to seven o'clock on Thursday, curbside pickup in the bus loading area. And of course, Friday, we're ending the week with our uh, virtual luncheon. And every event that you participate in, um, you will be entered into a raffle to win a lot of different prizes that we have. So again, thank you for being here. Um, and we look forward to hearing Jonathan Medina. Did y'all hear that or no? No. Okay, uh, let me just give me a minute. We, we have feedback here, I'm sorry. Okay. All right, so I don't know what happened there. I went through the whole uh, thing and I guess y'all didn't hear me. Um, can you hear me now? Uh, yes. Yes, okay. So uh, again, we just wanna thank you all for joining us. This is our kickoff for National Gear Up Week. We are, um, I don't know if Jonathan is speaking. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm sorry. We, we're having technical difficulties. But um, so let me kind of just repeat what I said. Uh, we Thank you for joining us. Today we're kicking off National Gear Up Week with our um, guest speaker, Jonathan Medina. He's going to talk to you all about leadership skills. Uh, we check, do have check, a. Check. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now, Miss Hernandez? Yes. Can you nod your head if you can hear me now? Yes. Can you hear me? Awesome. awesome. Well, I, again, guys, I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Um, I'm, I'm so. It's to me, it's such a privilege. Um, I'm so grateful to Miss Hernandez for reaching out to me. I love, love, love Gear Up. Um, so I want to give a quick shout out. Um, I think there's several others. Uh, I see that Miss Solis, you have the Gear Up background right behind you. Um, Daniel, it's great, it's great to see you, Mr. Ezekiel. Uh, it's great to see you. Um, before we get started, can I get everyone to um, just for a second, just put your screens on so we can all, um, I'm going to, I got to, I got to be, um, I'm, I'm young, I'm a millennial also, so I got to put it on my Instagram. Um, so if I could get everyone's faces, uh, I have multiple screens. Um, the way my setup is I have multiple screens. I have a TV going, so I'm going to take a quick little Instagram post of all of you guys before we get started. So I'll give you guys a second to get into the screen. And again, um, just so you guys know, at the end, I'm going to be giving away a gift card for your choice of where you would like to eat. Uh, 
Awesome, I could see you, Caleb. I could see you, Heather. I could see you, Brandon. I could see you, Daniel, Victor, great. I could see you, Noah. I could see you, Marisol. I could see you, Daniela. Awesome, awesome. Alondra, I can see you. I love it. I can see all of you guys. I think I have multiple. I have multiple pages going on over here, so let me also check over here on this side. Awesome, I can see you, Ms. Hernandez. I can see you, Brandon. Um, I'm not sure who else just got in, but I can see all of you. It looks awesome. Let me do my little Instagram post just so I can, you know, capture all of you guys. Don't judge. I have cords coming down everywhere on my TV, but it's awesome to be with you guys. Awesome, awesome. Great to see you, Ezequiel, Pedro, Alondra, Crystal, Daniel, Brandon, Laura, Kayla, Victor, Noah, Marisol, and everyone else. Vanessa, Daniela, Michael, uh, Natalie. Thank you guys so much. I'm just going to put that on my story real quick, and then we are going to get started. Well, again, thank you guys so much. Hi, my name is Jonathan Medina. I'm America's number one youth motivator. I'm your teacher. I'm your coach. I'm your friend, and I'm your teammate, and I grew up in the Rio Grande Valley, just like all of you guys, so um, I'm so pumped to be with all the Ravens. Uh, so all my Ravens, all my students, Ravens, go ahead and put in the chat, just put hashtag National Gear Up Week. Uh, so all the students, so, so not the adults, just, just the students on that one, go ahead and put that in the chat. Um, so like I said, I'm going to talk about uh, my personal experience when I was in ninth grade. Uh, I love ninth grade. Ninth grade was one of my funnest years ever. And so I want to um, just share a little story about when I was in ninth grade. And then, like I said, I'm going to be giving away $50 to one of you all today. But you may be wondering, who am I? Um, so normally I would have Miss Hernandez. She would probably introduce me if we were there live in person. She would probably say something like, spoken to over a thousand schools nationwide at places such as Harvard, Texas A&M, and schools from New York City all the way to Los Angeles. I've gotten to work and speak at, with over one million students, educators, and parents. I was a Georgetown University football player. I've been featured on ESPN, NBC, ABC, TED, um, Fox. Um, this is a new one, guys, which I think uh, I'll be giving away some books for you guys today. Um, so I'm going to give away a couple of copies of my autographed book. Um, the printing is coming out, so it's about to come out in physical copy. It's already become a bestseller as an ebook. And then I also broke the record at McDonald's for the most Happy Meals eaten, eaten in one day. Um, and I'm going to give a special, I'm going <laughs> to, Victor, it's not funny. Why are you laughing? Um, I'm going to give you guys a special. You too, Daniel. I can see you. I can see you laughing. It's not funny, Daniel. Yes, yes, it was your back. So um, just so you guys know, I'm going to give a special prize. So go in the chat right now and write, uh, take a guess at how many uh, Happy Meals you feel that I could eat in one day. Um, so just my personal record. Uh, it's an unofficial record, so you're not going to find it. Uh, don't, don't try to Google it right now. It's an unofficial record. Only I know that and all the places that I've gone to speak before know the record and actually don't even tell people normally uh, kids always ask me and I tell them no they're off they're way off so go ahead and get in the chat I'm going to take a look at some of the guesses let me see how many people 45 85 wrong Daniel uh, 33 Johnny you're wrong Joshua you're wrong Heather you're wrong Alina so far you, you are the closest uh, Vanessa you are wrong Caleb you're wrong okay okay Heather um, where's Heather at Heather um, I'm Heather, you just hit it on the button. Heather, great job. I've never had anyone actually guess it correct before. So normally this gets to be a challenge that continues all the way to the end. But unfortunately for all of you guys, Heather just won. So um, Heather, I'm going to give you a gift card to McDonald's. Uh, sorry if you don't like McDonald's. That's where the record came from. So you get the prize. If everyone could give a little round of applause for Heather. Give Heather a round of applause. Great job. Great job. Great job. And so... That's who I am. Again, uh, that new book is Student Leadership Playbook, which I think I'm going to give away a few free autograph copies to you all today. But before I was breaking records, before I was traveling the country as a motivational speaker, before I was a best-selling author, it all started with a vision. Vision is one of my all-time favorite words, um, one of my favorite books. I read it every single morning and in that book, it says that without a vision, the people perish. So everyone get in the chat. Everyone get in the chat and write the word vision. Everyone write the word vision in the chat. Get right now in the chat and write the word vision. 
I change that quote up a little bit to make it my own quote. I, I say, without a vision, the students lose. One of my favorite things about Gear Up is that I know people like uh, Miss Solis, I know people like Miss Hernandez, I know people like Mr. Rodriguez. They're all helping you guys to accomplish your vision of being college and career ready. And so I want you guys to write the word vision down there in the chat. And people were hyping up 2020 as the year of vision. People were saying that 2020 was going to be the year of vision. People had made shirts. They had made signs. I had seen, seen it all over the place. 2020 vision. And I had been hearing about 2020 vision, but then everything happened. The pandemic happened. And I saw that a lot of people had forgotten about their vision. People have been saying that they need to cancel 2020. People have been saying that we need to take a pause on 2020. But I love that you guys are participating after school today. I love how all of you guys are getting involved. I love how all of you guys are doing things to accomplish your 2020 vision. So I want you to write down in the chat, 2020 vision. Just go ahead and right now, write, get to, to the chat and say 2020 vision. I want you to think about your vision for this year. You, I know that you guys are not like the other students who maybe some students have said they're too distracted. They don't want to work in 2020. They might say they're too discouraged. And so they don't want to work in 2020. They might say that they are depressed and they don't want to work in 2020. But I know that all of you guys have a 2020 vision that you are going to accomplish. I know all of you guys are going to be supported by Gear Up. And so you are going to make your 2020 vision happen. You're doing it like right now by participating right now. And then I want you guys to think about 2024. I want you to imagine what it's going to feel like when you walk across the stage. I want you to imagine what it feels like when you shake your principal's hand. I want you to imagine what it's going to feel like when you throw your cap up in the air. I want you to imagine that moment. I want you to have that vision. I want you to think about, are people going to travel from all different parts of the state and come out to Harlingen to go to Bogus Stadium to watch you walk across that stage? Are you going to have family members that have to fly in from other parts of the country? Maybe you have family that's going to come in from other countries. So I want to know what is your 2024 vision? I want to know what you think it's going to feel like. And specifically, I want you to write in the comments, if you expect your mom, your dad, or someone, maybe it's yourself, if you expect someone to cry. So go ahead and get in the vision, I mean, I mean get in the chat and do the little crying emoji or do any kind of little crying moment or say, or just type, my mom is definitely going to cry. So go ahead and write that down. I, I love that I see that. Alondra, you say your mom is going to cry for sure. How many of you guys think you're going to have a family member that's going to cry? Mom's going to cry. Caleb, I, I see it. I see it. No, no, you got the little emojis going. And then I want you guys to imagine 2030, because I love one of the things about Gear Up is they're not just worried about you graduating high school, but they are engaged. They're trying to help you to accomplish your vision in life. They want you to be successful in college. They want you to be successful in your career. <laughs> 24, my grandpa, my mom, my aunt, everyone's. Brandon, Everyone in your family is going to cry. I love that. Um, but I want to know, what is your 2030 vision? What is your career that you want to have? And so go ahead and get in the chat. And I want to hear about some of the career opportunities that you were thinking of, of going into. Maybe you want to talk about the colleges that you want to go to. Today, I'm repping the University of Texas Longhorns, but no one's going to get any extra points for riding Longhorns or anything like that. I just want to know about what schools you have thought about applying to, what schools you are thinking about going to. Do you want to stay local? Do you want to go out of state? Let me know any of that. Psychology, I love it. Teaching, I love it. I love it. Um, RHISD, I love it. Uh, psychologist, I love it. Criminology, I love it. I love it. I love it. And one of the things I love is that a lawyer. Awesome. Awesome. I love that everyone at Gear Up, they're going to help you to accomplish that dream. Firefighter, forensics. I love it. I love it. Acting, drama, teacher. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, and right now, Ms. Waikanthu is joining us. Uh, so she will come in. Uh, someone's thinking about going to Texas A&M. I absolutely love it. Behavior analysis, teacher. I love it. I can see you guys over there um, all in the on the screens. It's so awesome to see you guys, but it's awesome to see UCLA. One of my friends from the Valley is a professor at UCLA. I love it. I love it. Engineer. Awesome. Awesome. And so it's, I want you guys to start putting that in your mind because when you do things like what we're doing right now, when we're talking about it, when we're having that in our vision, the word vision, it's to actually see. So a lot of people can only see what's right in front of them, but I love how you guys have a vision for your future. You guys 
have a vision for something that's not necessarily right in front of you right now, but your vision is beyond just your sight. Your vision is what you could forecast. Your vision is what you could see in the future. Your vision is what is coming from far away and it's coming closer into view. And so when you are engaged in gear up, I love how that vision is coming closer. It's coming closer into view. So that's how we know that Noah can start thinking about engineering. That's how we know that Natalie and Vanessa can think about being a teacher and going to UCLA, thinking about how Brandon's going to go to Texas A&M. And so all of that is far away from now. 2024, 2025, but it's coming closer into view because you are doing it right now. So I want you to imagine yourself. Brandon, I want you to imagine having that maroon on your shirt. Natalie, I want you to imagine having that yellow and blue, the colors of UCLA. Noah, I want you to imagine what it's gonna be like when you are an engineer. Brandon, I want you to imagine what it's gonna be like when you're an orthodontist. And so I want you to make uh, crystal, our Ms. Hernandez, she said that she wants to make sure that all of you use your career goals on tomorrow's dream board activity. Um, I'm not going to show you guys. Here, I'll pull it up over here myself. I'm in my office, and, and so I, 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 I did it myself. So, Ms. Hernandez, I love that you have them doing a dream board. I have my little uh, vision board for 2020. I have my books on there that I've been working on. I have some stuff about me speaking and all the places I've gone. I have even a dream car. So I want you guys to think about that house that you're going to live in someday. I want you guys to think about the income when you are working as an engineer. Think about the income when you're working as a teacher. What kind of people are you going to be helping in the classroom? What kind of people are you going to be helping as an engineer? I want you guys to think about all the things that you're going to put on that dream board tomorrow as part of that dream board activity. And so, again, we're thinking about 2030, but it's not just 2030, I want you to think about 2040, 2050, all that time in the future. I want you to think about it and I want you to see how it's coming closer into view. And so one of the reasons I absolutely love Europe is for me, it helped me to have my very first college visit. It helped me to have the vision when I first took my very first college visit. I'll never forget getting on the bus. We were at Gutierrez Middle School. We get on the bus and we get on the charter bus. We drive all the way across the state. We go to Texas A&M, just like where Brandon wants to go. We go to Texas A&M. I remember we drove up and out of the charter school bus or the charter bus, I could see the buildings in the distance. I could see myself going to a school like that someday. I had a vision in that moment that, I wanted to be a college student. I had a vision in that moment that I wanted to go to class in buildings just like that. I had a vision that I would live in dorm rooms just like that. I started to imagine that moment and it started to create inside of me <clears throat> a level of pride. No one in my family had ever gone to college. No one in my family was talking about college, not in seventh grade. And so at that time, I didn't have the biggest of dreams. I didn't have the biggest of vision. I didn't have all of those things. But because I was involved in Gear Up, it helped to raise the bar. I want you to get in the chat and I want everyone to write the word raise the bar. Or write that phrase, sorry. Raise the bar, I'm gonna write it myself also. Raise the bar. And so I don't know what your vision was before when you first started school. I'm not sure if you were thinking about how you were gonna go to college someday. I'm not sure if all of you were thinking about what kind of careers you're gonna have, whether you were gonna be a teacher, an orthodontist, the lawyer, the doctor, the teacher again, or what, what place you're gonna, I want you to continue to raise the bar. I want you to continue to raise the skills that you are learning. I want you to continue to think about the success that you are going to have. And so I want you to absolutely raise the bar. And so that's what it was for me. When I went on that first visit to Texas A&M, it suddenly raised the bar. I started to think about how I could go to school anywhere. I could, I, first of all, I had not even thought about going to college. And then I was thinking, well, I could go to college even if it's far away. Even if it is that five-hour drive, that six-hour drive, I could go anywhere to go to college because Gear Up had helped me to raise the bar. And then one of my favorite, favorite quotes I just want to share with you guys today, uh, one of my favorite quotes is, be the change you wish to see in the world. Uh, so go ahead and write that quote, write the word change, just write change the world. Uh, go ahead and put change the world in the chat. I want to see you guys. Um, and then I'm going to look up at the screen right now. And uh, those of you guys that have the video, I'm going to have you guys 
just just uh like say i'm gonna change the world so i just want you guys to kind of be slapping your chest in the video but but wait so i can uh wait so i can put it on instagram okay so now you guys can start to, to tap your chest start to tap your chest even you, Miss Solis, I want to see you start slapping your chest. There we go. Thank you, Miss Solis. Uh, there you go, Miss Rodriguez. There you go, Carlos. Or Caleb, I'm sorry. I can see you. I can see you. Love it. Love it. And so I want you guys to change the world. See, that's one of my favorite things. Um, Gear Up, we want to celebrate all of your educational achievements. That's what National Gear Up Week is all about. It's about celebrating you because we know that you guys are going to change the world. We know that when when you guys go into college, that's changing the world. We know that when you guys are career ready, that's changing the world. We know that when you guys eventually become lawyers and teachers and doctors and whatever profession you are interested in, we know that you are going to change the world. And so I want you guys, I'm gonna look up at the screen again. I'm looking up. I wanna see you guys slapping your chest and, and make your mama freak out or make your dad freak out if you're at home and scream out loud and say, I'm gonna change the world. I'm not sure if I, I couldn't tell that it was truly loud. Even if you're absolutely faking it on the screen, I need you to like say it with the most animo, say it with the most energy, say, I'm going to change the world. You need to calm down, Miss Solis. Miss Solis was already going crazy over there. She was slapping her chest like crazy. So I need you to calm down, Miss Solis. <laughs> but... But that's what we're all here for. That's why Miss Hernandez is here. That's why Mr. Zuniga is here. That's why Mr. Rodriguez is here. That's why Miss Solis is here. Because they all know that you guys are going to change the world. They all know that you guys are going to go have success. And so for National Gear Week, we are all celebrating all of your success. And so... There's a lot of people out there, like I said, they're saying that 2020 needs to be canceled. They're saying that they need to give up on 2020. I went too far on my slide. They're saying they need to give up on 2020. People are saying pause. People are having conspiracy theories. There's all kinds of reasons that people are saying that you cannot have your best year. But I absolutely believe that all of you guys can have your best year in 2020. I believe that Alondra can have her best year. I believe that Caleb can have his best year. I believe that Alina can have her best year. I believe that Jacob and Natalie, Vanessa, Marisol, Johnny, I believe that all of you guys can have your best year even in a pandemic even through COVID. I want that someday, because this has been a historical event, this has been a moment that people are going to talk about for a long time. People are going to have this in history books. They're going to make movies about it someday. And people are going to ask you, they're going to say, what was it like in 2020? You were a student. What was it like in 2020 when schools got shut down? What was it like in 2020 when the economy went down? What was it like in 2020 when the world closed down? And I want you guys to have the answer. And you guys are going to say, well, the world may have closed, but my vision did not close. The world may have stopped, but my vision did not stop. I continue to get better. I continue to do well. I continue to chase my vision. I continue to raise the bar. And so I want you guys to have that in your mind that you are going to be able to say how you had the best year, even in a pandemic. And so I share with you that when I was in Gear Up, I had the vision that I was going to go to college, but... I also had the vision that I was going to play college football. It all started, if you could see that photo on the top, that's me at Gutierrez Middle School. I was number 78. I remember putting my shoulder pads on. I put my helmet on. I looked in the mirror, and I was like, man, I'm a stud. But my coach, he looked at me. He said, son, you're slow. Son, you're weak. That's not funny, Victor. Um, and he said, son, you're bad. You're terrible. And in that moment, I was already thinking about giving up on my vision that I was going to play college. I was thinking about giving up on that I was going to be on the A team someday. I was on the B team. I was giving up on all of my athletic pursuits. But my coach, he looked at me and my coach, he said, son, son, don't put your head down. He told me it's not where you start. It's where you finish. So everyone get in the chat and write the word finish. Write the word finish in the chat. Finish, finish. I love seeing it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome, awesome. Love seeing it. Love seeing it. And so 
I'm not sure how 2020 started for you. I'm not sure if you had in your mind thought, I'm, I'm, maybe we should take a pause on 2020. I'm not sure if in your mind you were thinking that maybe we do need to cancel 2020. I'm not sure if in your mind you were thinking that, you know, maybe I didn't start the year good. So that's just the way 2020 is going to be. But we still have the fourth quarter. We still can get better throughout this year. And so I love that you guys are getting involved right now, that you guys are staying up, that you guys are here. I, I love that Brandon uh, looks like he has a fan behind him and everyone is here no matter what and so all of you guys are here to get better and so just so you know I went from seventh grade being a bad football player I was an average student I was an A's and B's so kind of good but not not really that good and I ended up in that one year having a huge transformation because of what that coach told me he told me it's not where you start it's where you finish he taught me it's a, it's a phrase that's called a growth mindset so I may have started and I was slow. I may have started and I was weak. I may have started and I was just an average student. But because that coach taught me to have a growth mindset, I learned that it's not where I start, but it's where I finish. And so I'm not sure if your 2020 has been going exactly the way you want it to go, but that's just the way it started. I know that you guys can finish strong. I know that you guys can have amazing success. And so we go into, by the time we hit ninth grade, by then, I'm already one of the bigger kids. I'm one of the stronger kids. I'm one of the faster kids. And I had become a leader in my school. And so I'm spending all summer at one of my best friend's house. His name was RJ. I'm staying all summer at one of my best friend's house. I'm staying at RJ's house. And every day, we get up and we're running to the school. Every day, we get up and we're trying to get better. So RJ is helping me to get better. We wake up as a group and we run. It's about two, it's about a two mile run. We jog over to one of our friend's house that's on the way and we're slamming on his door, knocking on his door and saying, let's go, let's go. We got to work out. We got to get better. We have goals. We're going to have the best freshman year ever. And then we run to the next guy's house and we'd have like five or six of us that would be running all together, all to the school to go work out at the school. And one day I see my grandfather parked across the street from the school. There's a little restaurant. And so right before I walk into the school, I see my grandfather and I think to myself, I'm going to surprise my grandfather. He hasn't seen me all summer. And my grandfather, even though he was a man of little means, he didn't have that much money. He would always give his favorite grandson a little bit of money. So um, get in the chat if you have a family member um, that lets you be real chief flower. Maybe you have a grandma, a grandpa that always hooks you up takes you to get some snacks, gets you to take some treats. My grandfather, he was, he loved donuts. He loved ice cream and he would always take me to go get donuts and ice cream. And so if you have any family member, maybe it's an aunt, maybe it's uncle, your grandfather, your grandmother, like me. Love it, love it. Daniel, your grandma, for sure. Carolina, your grandma, Brandon, your uncle. Awesome, awesome. Love it. And so my grandfather was the one who would spoil me. He'd make me real chief flow. Um, go ahead and type in the chat. Type the word chief flow in the chat. I'm kidding. I don't know how to spell it, so I, I'm not going to make you guys do that. I'm just joking about that one. But you can still write it if you want. <laughs> um, raise your hand if you, do, if you think you know how to spell it. Raise your hand. I want to see you on the screen. Okay, Daniel, I, I see you. I see you. Okay. Um, and so my grandfather was the kind of person that would make me real chief flow. And so I would... I'm going to surprise him. I go and I get to his table and I'm like, grandpa, grandpa. And he looks at me and he says, mijo, I've been looking for you all summer. I didn't know where you were. Your mom is in jail. And your mom's going to be in jail for a very long time. And with sweat coming down the side of my face, my eyes began to water. The tears connected with the sweat and they went down the side of my face. And I was worried that that day was possibly going to come. I was worried that my mom would get in trouble because she was involved with a lot of bad stuff. Every time that someone knocked on the door, I was always scared that it was the police and, and the day finally came. And I was worried because I was worried I didn't want my family to get split up. And that's what happened. I was worried because I didn't want to have my mom go away. And, and that's exactly what happened. I was worried because I didn't want everything to change. But that's exactly what happened. And I had to go live with my grandfather. And living with him, he was supposed to retire, but he didn't get to retire. He had to continue to work. And he was a field worker. He was a migrant worker. So that meant that he's working out. He's working in the sun every day as an old man. He doesn't get to retire. He's sacrificing for me. And everything feels like it's just so much more difficult. 
But in that moment of such huge difficulty, in that moment of huge change, I had to make a decision. One of my, one of my favorite quotes from my college coach, he would say that decisions determine destiny. I want you to write that down right now in the comments. Write the words, decisions determine destiny. See, that year, I, even though things got super hard, even though they got difficult, thank you guys for writing Decisions Determine Destiny. Even though things were tough, I made the decision that I wanted to have something different. I made the decision that I was going to continue to chase my vision. I made a decision that I was going to continue to participate in all the things at school. I made a decision that even though I had to work with my grandfather after school, that I was still always going to be prepared in class. I was still always going to do that extra stuff that they'd ask. And so because of those, that decision, even though things were difficult and I was experiencing what I would call my own personal pandemic, decisions determine destiny. So the decisions that I followed to, to continue to have a vision, to chase my vision, to continue to do the things right in school, I ended up having one of the best years of my entire life. And that year I actually excelled even more academically. I excelled even more athletically. That's the year that... <coughs> Things completely changed in my family negatively, but for me, I had so much more success. And it was all because I decided that I was gonna have the best year, even though I was having the personal pandemic. And I'm not trying to say that the pandemic is anything to be taken light. I personally lost one of my grandmothers. One of my grandmothers, she passed away because of COVID. And so I know that it's been difficult. I know that it's been hard. I know that it's been scary. But I also know that all of you can have the most amazing year, even though there's a pandemic. I know that all of you can have your careers, even though there's a pandemic. I know that all of you can have success, even though there's a pandemic. I know that all of you can become college ready, even though there's a pandemic. So I want you guys to put college success, career success in the chat. So go ahead and write that out right now. College success, career success. I want you guys to write that in the chat. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you, Alina. Thank you, Alina. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. Thank you, Brandon, Carolina, 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 Olivia, Victor. And then I'm going to have you guys write that full sentence that's on the screen. Um, except we're going we're gonna to put how to put I'm going to have the best year, even in, in pandemic. I'm going to have the best year. So write that out, right? I'm going to have the best year. Awesome, awesome. I love it. I love it. I love seeing it all. I love seeing it. I love seeing it. Awesome, awesome. And so again, um, I told one of you guys that I was going to give you guys a $50 prize or a $50 gift card for joining today. Um, but I'm going to make you guys get off of, or don't, don't if, you're on, if you're using your phone to be here on Zoom, don't, don't take off the Zoom. But um, what I want you to do is I want you to go to my Instagram. And so uh, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see my Instagram is in yellow. It's at jmedinaspeaks. That's my personal Instagram. And then I also want you to uh, tag, tag me in any post you do all week long. So uh, tomorrow when you guys do your dream board activity with Ms. Hernandez and Ms. Rodriguez and, and everyone else with Gear Up, when you guys do that tomorrow, I want you guys to take a photo, post it, tag me in it, uh, tag ED Partnerships. That's the, the Instagram of the National Gear Up uh, Support Program that supports Gear Ups all across the country. And... Um, and lastly, I want, I want you guys to remember that we're all supporting you. Remember to have vision. Again, without a vision, the students lose. So I love all of hearing about all of you guys' vision. I want all of you guys, uh, I'm looking up at the screen again. I want all of you guys to point at your eyes, point at your eyes, point at your eyes. And so just, just point at your eyes and say the word vision. Just say vision. I want to see everyone's lips at the same time. One, two, three, vision. 
That was actually pretty good. I didn't know if we could actually do that. Um, now I want you to, to tap on your chest because that's going to symbolize the vision in your heart. So vision is much more than what you could see with your eyes. I believe that vision goes down, deep down into your heart. So say the word vision one more time. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, Daniel's like neck is going to hurt because he was like doing a full like vision. So I love it. I love seeing it, guys. Um, again, thank you guys so much. Without a vision, the students lose. I, I believe without a vision, the students lose. So I know that you guys are not losers. I know that you guys have a vision. I know that you are going to be winners, and you're going to end up being college successful. You're going to be career successful, and you guys are going to go and change the world. So thank you, uh, Miss Hernandez, and all of Region One Gira for inviting me to be with all the ninth graders over at Cano. Thank you, all the Ravens, and put. Uh, so thank you guys so much, Ravens. I know you guys are champions. I know that you guys are going to be college and career ready. Uh, so I want all the Ravens, I want all the Ravens to slap your chest. I make every school do it wherever I'm at. And so I need you to slap your chest. I need you to put a number one up in the air and say, I am a champion. Louder. One, two, three. I am a champion. Hey, guys, thank you guys so much. You guys are all champions. I, I love you guys. I support you guys. Uh, do everything that all the stuff that's going to go on for National Gear Week. You guys are awesome. I'm going to let Miss Hernandez know who the winner is. So thank you guys so much. You guys have a wonderful day. And um, if you guys want to get in the chat, um, I'll stay around a little bit longer. But um, if you guys want just to ask any random question or, or anything like that, um, that's great. I think um, a lot of times people ask me what major I was when I was in college. Um, I was a sociology major and I was a theology minor. Jonathan, can you hear us now? No, he can't hear us. And if anyone's parents are getting on, um, that's awesome that you're going to have your parents on. Um, can I get everyone to put your videos on one more time? And I just want to film you guys kind of just dancing and being silly on the screen. I don't know why dancing on the screen is so silly, but... <laughs> Heather, I think someone even behind you is dancing. Uh, yes, yes, let me put, Miss um, Hernandez is gonna say something really quick, so I'm gonna have her unmute and Hey, you want to say something? Okay, guys, can you all give me a thumbs up if you can hear me? Okay, great. Uh, I don't know if, if you all heard the beginning of, of um, the message or not. I think we had some technical difficulties there. We just want to remind you uh, that this was our, our kickoff event for National Gear Up Week. Um, like we mentioned in the chat box and um, Jonathan mentioned, we are having a dream board activity that this is kind of like work on your own and submit it by Friday. Uh, and we just want you to showcase your creativity, um, display your dreams, your careers, your college dreams, your dream house, your dream trips, whatever it is that you like um, and, and aspire to do, put that on your dream board. We want to see your dreams for your life. Uh, Thursday, we're having that curbside pickup. We have goodie bags for you all with a lot of stuff. Uh, you don't want to miss out on that. 5.30 to 7 o'clock in the bus loading area. And Friday, we're having our virtual luncheon. Every event that you attend, so if you're here today, we're taking attendance. Um, you will be entered, again, if you do your dream board activity, send it to us via email. You will be entered um, again. So for each event that you participate, your name will be entered into our raffle for Friday. And we have uh, Mr. Rodriguez just put our gear up flyer in the chat box if you want to download that. Uh, but we have a lot of prizes. Um, Friday, we have gift cards to uh, Chick-fil-A. Um, we have a lot of different things. So make sure that you join us 1130 Friday. And um, 
Thank you all for being here. I don't know if anybody else wants to say anything. Good afternoon, students. My name is Pete Zuniga. I'm the newest gear facilitator here at Harlingen uh, CISD. I'll be working with the uh, students coming from Gutierrez Middle School. Uh, so if you get emails from me or I ask you to join the Remind uh, uh, classroom, uh, please make sure to do so. We want to really thank Jonathan Medina for that great uh, motivational speech this afternoon. Um, and we also want to thank all of you all for joining this afternoon. Uh, as Ms. Hernandez was saying, we really want you all to participate in all the upcoming events, including the Dream Board activity tomorrow, the uh, toolkit uh, drive-by on Thursday, and of course, our virtual luncheon on Friday. And on Friday is also when the Dream Boards are going to be due. So again, thank you for everybody to, for participating. Jonathan, we'll see you soon for the parent event. Um, Ms. Elise, if you want to say something. Hi, guys. I uh, miss you all very much. I can't wait till we get together, but uh, please, you know, thank you all for partic participating today. Uh, I want to see you guys tomorrow. Pick up your supplies. I want to see you all with your dream boards. I want to see you all at lunch on Friday. You all are awesome. Uh, you all are going to do great things from now till you graduated and even after graduation. We're looking forward to seeing you all at graduation in high school, graduation in college. A lot of work to do, guys. We've got a lot of goals to meet, and I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys. Have a great evening. Um, miss. Miss. Um, my cousin just transferred to our school, mm -hmm. so she went to Riverside, which had no robotics team. So, what teacher is she gonna be working with? Hi. Uh, this is Mr. Rodriguez, uh, gear facilitator. Can you elaborate more on that, please? Because we did have a virtual STEM camp last night. Uh, uh, today we're having our National Gear Up Week with Jonathan Medina. So I don't know if your question is in regards to that robotics camp or in Gear Up in general. No, Gear Up. Okay, so as far as the Gear Up program, all those students that, that attended uh, Gutierrez, Memorial, Coakley, and Vernon, are transitioning over to Dr. Cano as gear up students. All new students and Vela students right now, uh, we will have that announcement at a later date as far as the gear up program. But by all means, you know, this is the type of events that we're trying to share and make sure all students have this accessibility. So we're, we're happy and, and that your cousin is participating. But again, as far as being in the gear up program, we'll have to get back to you on that. And we'll make those announcements at a later date. She was in gear up in her other school, just that I don't know if that one will get sent over here. Okay, yes. Yeah, so, so now that you mentioned that, yes. Yeah, so since she was in gear up, she's considered a transfer gear up student. So once a gear up student, always a gear up student. Oh, so okay. get that information um, uh, uh, from your cousin, the full name. If you can please put in the full name in the chat box and we'll look into that and make sure we reach out to the person the district that was at so we can have a, that uh, paperwork transferred over to our campus. Yes, he just asked that. It's Pearl Fuentes, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. We'll, we'll get the we'll get all the paperwork for you, um, and um, welcome to uh, Dr. Khan. We'll be working with you really well. Okay. I think missing it on my last name. Thank you. We got the name. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Morning. Jonathan, are well, you trying to unmute me? Yes, I saw you talking, but are you guys in the same room or something? We're, yeah, we're in the same okay. room. <laughs> like, yes, yeah, sorry. Sorry, so we share like a classroom. Talk, but, okay. And I don't know what happened um, earlier because in the beginning when you told me 
Um, when you told me to go ahead and say something, I, I was, but I don't think you could hear me. Yeah, no, it was, it was my fault. Um, I accidentally had converted my, I'm using a separate microphone so that way you guys can hear me more clear, but I okay. accidentally put it to the output of the sound to go into the microphone. So there's no, I couldn't hear anything on the screen besides what I was saying. Okay. I, I fixed it. I fixed it. Okay. Um, are you going to have us say something uh, for the parent meeting? Only because I'm going to get on my phone in my car. Okay. Um, I don't need you to, but, um, but I didn't know any if... of the other ones, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Like I'm sure Zeke or Pete, Laura, they would, wouldn't mind saying something. I can, I'm just going to be driving um, for a bit and then, you know, I can come in and say something at the end if we need to. Okay. No problem. Okay. Um, but I don't, I, I have, I've been doing all my meetings without someone introducing me so I can do it without it. I just, I thought you had wanted to say something early on. So I, I put you to do it, but I didn't know. Impromptu. That's okay. <laughs> we got it. But then they didn't hear anything. Then. So it was like, Oh <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry about that. Um, mm -hmm. That's okay. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna get off, but I'll join right now. Um, when when I get back in my car. Okay, I'm gonna start it about five minutes early. Um, so in about five minutes, I'll I'll start the other meeting in case anybody accidentally gets on early. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you guys so much.